the number one question that we get asked about lilacs is how to propagate it or how to take a lilac plant that's here and then make another one. So the number one easiest way, and I'm looking at both of our lilacs to see. So lilacs send up shoots from the bottom and sometimes they'll be real small. We don't have, this is the, the smallest one we have currently. If you go, oh, there might be one right here actually. Okay, see this shoot that is coming out from the base. If you dig this up, which I don't have my shovel, if you dig that up, that is the fastest and easiest way to propagate a lilac is to take one of those shoots that's coming up from the bottom. But if you can't get to that shoot, just like I can't get to mine, the other way to do it is that you're gonna take a cutting. So come up here, babe, let's show them. And the best time to do it is in the springtime when it has all of this fresh growth. You see all that where it's not really woody, it's really soft still. So I'm gonna cut back so that I have a couple leaf sets. And I'm gonna take more than just one cutting. Let's find another one that's small. Let's see. Oh, right here. Okay, let's take this one. Okay, so I have a couple cuttings. Come with me to the potting bench. This way of propagating the lilacs takes time. So you need some patience, okay? It doesn't take time to propagate it. It takes time for it to begin growing. So come over here. Here we have our two cuttings. If you can get more than two, put in your pot. I have soil in here. This is just like a regular potting soil and it's already wet. We want it to be moist. I'm going to make some holes in it so that once we dip our lilac cutting, once we dip it in our rooting hormone, which this is the one that we use, it's called Take Root from Schultz. Once we dip it in this, we want to be able to put it in here and not brush off the rooting um, hormone. Now, here's the thing about it is the reason that you need multiple leaf sets is because the roots are gonna come from this these nodes where the leaf was growing out of. So I have some water in my cup, I'm dipping it in water, and then I'm dipping it in the, the rooting compound, and then this goes down into the soil. And I'm actually gonna take off these other leaves because I want this lilac shoot to have the least amount of life that it has to like keep fresh. So it only has one leaf it has to worry about. This one, this one's a little bit bigger. I'm actually going to cut it like this. I'm gonna take off these bottom leaves, dip it in the water, dip it in my hormone, and then it goes into that hole that we already drilled because we don't want to like push it down into the dirt and wipe off all of this like rooting compound. Now, this is going to take some time to get growing, probably a couple weeks at least. And the goal during this time is that it's not in the direct sunlight and that this soil stays evenly moist. We don't want it to be like super soggy where these would rot, but we also don't want it to dry out because we need that moisture so that these lilac cuttings will be able to start sending out roots. Once they send out the roots, then they will start growing. And so if you have a pot this big, like I could do multiple cuttings in there because I don't know that each of them are gonna make it, but then you have a better chance. So if you have access to a lilac and you can cut off some of that fresh, soft spring growth, it's the best time. So like right now I'm finishing trimming our lilac and then I cut off a little bit of the fresh growth and in a few weeks, these should have new growth and then we will have some new lilac bushes.